So you've learned how to loop, and you've learned about weapons, but maybe you're still confused by objectives? If that's the case, this guide's for you. Objectives and trepidation refers to the various tasks you have to complete for the round to progress. Objectives are not necessarily the same for each map, but will always be highlighted by a yellow diamond. Some examples of objectives are generators, the gong in the shrine map, the stormbreaker on Arctic, the flare on the yacht, and other objectives similar to these. The first objective is typically to finish generators, and the amount of these depends on the player count in the server. For example, a full server of 9 will require 10 generators, whereas a server of 5 requires 6 generators. These generators can take up to 105 seconds depending on how many people are in the server. Generators have skill checks. These are fairly easy in my opinion, but some people say otherwise. If you find yourself struggling with skill checks, keep trying. You'll get there eventually. Make sure you're also in your own server region to prevent any issues with lag. You can do this with the server browser feature. After the initial generators are completed, an additional objective is required to escape. These objectives are called exit switches and there'll be two on each map. These are powered after generators are repaired and a small period of time up to 30 seconds known as power diversion has ended. These exit switches can take up to 90 seconds to unlock depending on the amount of players in the round. Make sure to keep in mind that these switches will lose progress if someone is downed but will also lose progress slowly while not being interacted with. You can alternatively stun the slasher to open the exit gate once the switches are powered. Once either of these is completed the exit gate will open for you to escape. There's quite a few perks that impact objectives as the entire green categories for perks related to objectives in some way. I'll be splitting my perk recommendations into two categories based upon whether they benefit from doing objectives alone or in a group. First we'll start with the solo perks. The first perk here is Lone Wolf. While you're not near any survivors or the slasher, increase objective and healing speed by 10%. If you're the last survivor remaining, the location of the slasher is revealed to you for 5 seconds every 20 seconds. Lone Wolf is a perk that benefits from being alone and provides significant boost to solo work. Technician. While working on objectives alone, your objective speed is increased by 7%. After succeeding 5 consecutive skill checks, add 1% progress towards the objective. Technician is a perk that aids you with objectives without relying on other people for additional speed. Overclocked. When completing a skill check, gain a stack 10 maximum, and add an additional 0.1% progress towards the objective for every stack gained. For every stack accumulated, skill checks have their success zones decreased by 6% and their rotation speed increased by 4%. All stacks are consumed when failing a skill check. This perk is a high risk, high reward situation, meaning that if you can successfully hit these skill checks, you can accumulate up to 20% benefit, which is extremely useful. Harvester. When completing an objective, regain 25 health, gain a 65% movement speed for 4 seconds, and increase objective speed by 4%. This perk is good for doing objectives alone as it can buff you in multiple ways once an objective is completed, and also increases your objective speed by a decent amount. Momentum. When completing a skill check, gain a stack. For every stack, your objective speed is increased by 0.5%. Remove all stacks when failing a skill check or after 45 seconds spent not completing a skill check. Similar to overclocks, if not an easier version, but has a lower reward as the risk is lower. A safe bet, but also stacks with overclocked for ultimate objective speed. Now we'll move on to group perks. Strong bonds. Reveal your location and view the location of all survivors. For every survivor near you, your objective speed and healing speed are both increased by 5%. Momentum. When completing a skill check, gain a stack. For every stack, your objective speed is increased by 0.5%. Remove all stacks when failing a skill check or after 45 seconds spent not completing a skill check. Similar to overclocks, if not an easier version, but has a lower reward as the risk is lower. A safe bet, but also stacks with overclocked for ultimate objective speed. Harvester. When completing an objective, regain 25 health. Gain a 65% movement speed for 4 seconds and increase objective speed by 4%. This perk is good for doing objectives as it can buff you in multiple ways after completing an objective, and also increases your objective speed by a decent amount. And that's all from this mini guide to objectives and trepidation. I hope this guide helps those who've just started the game or anyone who needs it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to join my Discord to interact with the community, suggest future videos, ask questions, and so much more. That's all from me for now, and I'll see you guys next time.